Lord Shri, this is a case of flagging of the FIRs. Reply is also received by the government manager. Lord, yesterday itself we have filed the reply on this. Yeah, hai. Yes, your Lord Shri. Your Lord Shri, there was an incident happened on 7-1-2023 when in the midnight at 3 a.m. the petitioner <laughs> went on the stage and abused filthy words towards the Honorable Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh matters. Yeah. So against that subsequent there too, Multiple FIRs have been registered on account of that incident Indeed. at different police stations across Madhya Pradesh. So Indeed. we have come before the Honorable High Court simply that all the FIRs should be clubbed because it is arising out of Thinke, same incident. Same incident will be clubbed. Sir, we have an objection to the preliminary objection. At the stage of investigation, the petitioner has no right to... Uh, I mean, he is only seeking that one incident ke karan aapne jaga -jaga par FIR dhaj kara di. So, एक जब इंसिडेंट है तो आप क्लब करके इन्वेस्टिगेट कर लीजिए वो यही तो कह रहे हैं अगर अलग-अलग घटना होती जैसे अभी उन्होंने आपको गाली दी तो एक घटना हो गई एक उन्होंने आपको कल गाली दी थी वो दूसरी घटना हो गई एक शाम को गाली देंगे वो तीसरी घटना हो जाएगी बट एक ही गाली के लिए आप अलग-अलग एफआईआर दर्ज करके अलग-अलग इन्वेस्टिगेट करके क्यों उसको प्रताड़ित करना चाहते हैं उसका प्रोविजन क्या है बताइएगा कानून में सर ये रिपोर्ट में जो है इस बात का उल्लेख है कि सात पे पढ़ रहे हैं सात एवं आठ पेज छब्बीस पेज छब्बीस एफआईआर आपके जवाब के नहीं सर ये पिटिशन के पेज छब्बीस ये एफआईआर का वेजमेंट कर रहा हूँ कि एक घटना नहीं है ये किसका अरे आप ये तो हो रहे हैं किसक सर पेज 26 में दिस पेज 26 पढ़िएगा जी एफआईआर मैं थाना पिपलानी में सहायक उपनिरीक्षक पद पर पदस्थ हूं थाना पिपलानी में पदस्थ प्रधान आरक्षक इतना इतना धन निशान रिपोर्ट आकर दर्ज कराया कि 7 एक 2023 एवं 8 एक 2023 के मध्य में करणी सेना टीम जीवन शेरपुर धरना प्रदर्शन जंबूरी मैदान में चल रहा था उक्त धरना प्रदर्शन में उपनिरीक्षक पीला कुर्ता सफेद पजामा काली जैकेट पहने हुआ था तथा दाढ़ी रखे हुआ था माइक पे मानी मुख्यमंत्री श्री शिवा सिंह चौहान को शिवराज सिंह मामा ये 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 का नारा लगाते हुए अश्लील गालियां दे रहा था मैं नहीं हूं आपका राइट है इन्वेस्टिगेट करना और इस तरीके की घटनाएं नहीं होना चाहिए लेकिन इशू ये है कि एक घटना ये क्या कह रहे हैं 7 और 8 की मिडनाइट उस जंबूरी मैदान में एक घटना हो जी कैन यू लॉज मल्टीपल एफआईआर उसमें ये भी नहीं लिखा था इट वाज बीइंग ट्रांसमिटेड थ्रू ऑडियो विजुअल मीडिया टू डिफरेंट प्लेसेस ये भी नहीं है एफआईआर में हां बताइए क्या प्रोविजन है क्लब की आई एम प्लैंग अपॉन दिस जजमेंट ऑफ द ऑनरेबल सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया जी लॉर्ड पैरा 20 322, 22, 23 and 24, your lordship. Lordship, in 22, paragraph in Arnab Goswami versus Union of India, while dealing with the issue of multiplicity of proceeding in harassment to the accused, a two judge bench of which honorable uh, one of us was part held that Article 32 of the Constitution constitutes a recognition of the constitutional duty entrusted to this court to protect a fundamental right of citizen. The exercise of well, that is the bold part is most important, Your Lordship. India's freedom will rest as if long journalists can speak truth to power without their. Are you a journalist? journalist? No, no, I'm not a journalist. But okay. Lordship, the law is it, on point point paragraph twenty four. Twenty four is the relevant paragraph. Are you twenty four? Yes. As regards the prayer for question of the FR, an essential aspect of the matter which must be noticed at this stage is that the investigation by the special cell of police, Delhi Police, and so and so. Pertains to offense of a cognate nature of those offense having marked in the FIR which have been lodged before the police station Uttar Pradesh. I'm leaving one paragraph now. Uh, however, a fair investigative process would require that the entirety of the investigation and all the FIRs should be consolidated and entrusted to one investigating authority. The overlap in the FIRs emanating as they do not, as do form from the tweets of the petitioner, only goes to emphasize the need for a consolidated as opposed to the piecemeal investigation by a diverse set of law enforcement agencies. Mm -hmm. Then your lordship, this judgment, then another judgment in which the Honorable Supreme Court have clubbed the FIRs is N.V. Sharma, your lordship. Mm -hmm. Copy and
and you didn't. It did not recover. Okay. Yes. And this is one more judgment of Lordship Naveka Kumar, in which also the Honorable Supreme Court has clubbed the FIRs. Paragraph 6, 7, 8 yes, are yes. relevant for this public, my Lord. Yes, but I this petition is filed seeking a direction to club various FIRs which are being registered against the petitioner under section 294 and 34 IPC for an incident which took place on 8-123 and for which report was received by the concerned police station on 10-123 at about 20.00 hours registering FIR number 0030 of 23 at police station Piplani district Bhopal police stop it is submitted that petitioner is an activist of Karni Sena Karni Sena ke hai na? yes Karni Sena police stop because of political opposition to a particular to the other side of the ideology petitioner has been framed in multiple FIRs. Full stop. It is submitted that Baki FIR ki number ka hai? You know, Chip, all the FIRs have been placed as annexure. Uh, annexure P1 is the first FIR. Ah. That is FIR 30 of 2023 before police station Piplani. Ji. Second is FIR 60, crime number 60 of 2023 before Selaya, uh, before police station Selan district Ratlam. Third is my lords 40 of 2023 before police station Piplani Bhopal again. Mm. Fourth is your lordships uh, before police station Misrod district Bhopal mm. FR crime number 18 of 2023. Mm. And your lordships the last is uh, FIR 10 of 2023 before police station Zirapur district Rajgarh. These are the ones which I am aware of. It is submitted that for the same incident, multiple FIRs have been lodged, namely case crime number 60 oblique 23 at Selana district Ratlam, comma case crime number 40 of 23 at police station Piplani Bhopal, case crime number 18 oblique 23 at police station Misrod district Bhopal, and case number 10 oblique 23 at Jirapur, police station Jirapur district Rajgarh. Full stop. Next paragraph. Placing reliance on the judgment of Supreme Court in Mohammad Jubair versus State of NCT of Delhi and others, 2022 SCC online, SC897, and reading paragraph 24 2 and 24. It is pointed out that a fair investigative process, inverted commas, a fair investigative process would require that the entirety of the investigation in all the FIRs should be consolidated and entrusted to one investigating authority. Full stop. The overlap in the FIRs, comma, emanating as they do from the tweets of the petitioner, comma, only goes to emphasize the need for a consolidated comma as opposed to piecemeal investigation by a diverse set of law enforcement agencies. Full stop, inverted commas, close. Next pair. Similarly, reliance is placed on the judgment of Supreme Court in N. V. Sharma versus Union of India and others 2022 SCC online SC 1003 where Supreme Court held that all FIRs in Nupur Sharma profit remarks case be clubbed and should be tried by IFSO unit of Delhi police police stop. Similarly, reliance is placed on the judgment of Supreme Court in Navika Kumar versus Union of India and others, 2022 SCC online, SC1289, wherein again, in the matter of profit remark case, 
it was directed that all the FIRs against the journalist be clubbed. Full stop. Placing reliance on these judgments, it is submitted that petitioner's case is similar. He has been falsely implicated. Next para. Shri Vivek Sharma, learned deputy advocate general for state, has filed his reply. Paragraph and, 3, 10 and eh? This is the copy of reply. My Lord, my Lord, sir. Reply hai na, is me. Paragraph three, number? Paragraph 3, 10 and 11. Full stop. It is submitted that in paragraph th th that paragraph 3, 10 and 11 are relevant for the purpose of the present controversy. Full stop. Next para. Reading from para 3 of the reply filed by the state government on Pachis, July 2023, comma, it is evident that a preliminary objection is taken in regard to maintainability of the petition. Full stop. It is submitted that at the stage of investigation, petitioner has no right to be heard. Full stop. To buttress their submission, reliance is placed on the judgment of Supreme Court in Narendra G. Goyal versus the state of Maharashtra, 2009-6 SCC-65. Full stop. It is submitted that it is held in the said judgment that accused has no right to be heard at the stage of investigation. Similarly, reliance is placed on the judgment of Supreme Court in case of Romila Thapar versus Union of India, 2018-10 SCC-754, wherein in, in para 30 it is mentioned that the accused cannot ask for changing the investigating agency or to the and or to do the investigation in a particular manner full stop similarly in para 10 after 10 10 10 kara ji ha in para 10 the stand is taken that state of the MPs. present petition is devoid of merit and reliance is placed on the judgment of supreme court in State of Punjab versus Rajesh Sial, 2002 8 SCC 158, where Supreme Court held that different people have alleged to have been defrauded by the respondents and the company, and therefore each offense is a district one full stop. Uh, district 1 and cannot be regarded as constituting a single series of facts of the trans transaction. Full stop. It will not be out of point place to mention that the judgment has been quoted out of context in as much as the word distinct has been typed as distinct by the learned advocate who prepared the reply. Full stop. In para 11, it is held that, again referring to Rajesh Sayal judgment, it is held, it is, it is pointed out that that the judgment in case of VK Sharma was not a precedent and therefore same could not have been applied to the facts and circumstances of the present case. However, and, and, and moreover that was overruled. And, and judgment of VK Sharma and PK Sharma were overruled. Mm -hmm. Next para. However, after hearing learned counsel for the parties and going through the report, certain facts are important to be mentioned. In the FIR, which is filed along with the petition, and as is read over by Shri Vivek Kuma, Sharma, the Deputy Advocate General, incident took place on 7-1-23 and uh, in the intervening night of 7-1-23 and 8-1-23, when concerned sub-inspector ASI, ASI, Ajay Kumar Nair had visited the Jamburi Maidan and identified the petitioner, full stop. There are allegations that he was giving, he was using abusive language against one of the public functionaries of the state. Full stop. Section 294 
any full full stop fir is registered under section 294 and 34 ipc full stop section 294 ipc deals with obscene acts and songs full stop the punishment which is prescribed is 3 months or with fine or with both the offense is cognizable bailable but non compoundable full stop sir iske alawa 153 a 294 500 505 34 full stop in other fis yes. it is mentioned other fis also reveal the same cause of action a fact which is not disputed by shri vivek jain learned vivek sharma learned god deputy advocate general of the state full stop when this aspect is taken into consideration then the judgments which have been cited by the learned deputy advocate general are of no assistance full stop the ratio in case of narendra ji goyal and romila thapar is Two fold, namely, there is no need to hear the accused at the time of investigation, and invest accused cannot ask for change of the investigating agency. Full stop. None of the prayer is to the effect to either give him an opportunity of hearing at the time of investigation or to change the investigation authority. Therefore, it is apparent that the state has failed to understand the. pulse of the case it has made generalized statement in para 3 of its reply prayer is only to club the various club various fir's full stop thus the reply in para 3 is not relevant to the controversy involved and thus the ratio of judgment laid down in case of narendra goyal and romila thapar will have no application to the facts of the present case next para as far as is contention of the petitioner that in case of raj state of punjab versus rajesh sayal supra in para 7 supreme court has held that different people were alleged to be defrauded by the respondent and the company and each of the offense is a distinct one and cannot be regarded as constituting a single series of facts again reflects poor understanding of facts in the hand of the state full stop in the present case all the fir's reveal the incident to be same which had taken place at jamburi maidan on the intervening night of 7 january 23 and 8th january 23 full stop thus when there is a single incident then judgment ratio of law laid down in case of rajesh sayal two will not be applicable because in that case different persons were defrauded at different places and therefore each of the complainant had a right to lodge fir as per his tra individual transaction full stop similar therefore i am of the considered view that taking this fact into consideration that honorable supreme court in case of mohammad jubair comma navika kumar and nv sharma has shown the indulgence of clubbing the various fir's and has directed to carry out one single investigation and uh, investigation full stop honorable supreme court in mohammad jubair <coughs> has made a clear ob observation in para 24 that such acts needs for a consolidated as opposed to piecemeal investigation by a diverse set of law enforcement agencies full stop i am of the opinion that in view of the judgments of honorable supreme court in mohammad jubair navika kumar and nv sharma petitioner's case being on the identical footing it is directed that state authorities may get the investigation carried out 
by any one of uh, by, by, um, by any one of the investigators of their choice but there will be a consolidated investigation in the matter of fir registering fees crime number Zero zero three zero oblique twenty three at P S Piplani and ये चार और F I R जो ऊपर लिखाई थी मैंने लिख लीजिएगा full stop in the above terms petition is disposed of this court has not expressed any opinion on the manner or the methodology of investigation it has only clubbed the F I R